Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 65 from our bootcamp series. In this lecture, we will discuss about agar loading in Rails. So let's have a look on agar loading first. So agar loading is the process whereby a query loads a resource as soon as the code is executed. It also loads related entity as part of the query. Okay, or you can say that uh, also loads the related associations or relationships as part of the query. Hence, it reduces the number of queries required to face the details of the associated object. Okay. And in this lecture, we will discuss about three methods available for agar loading. So there are three methods available for agar loading associations. First one is includes that we saw in the last lecture. We will again see this and uh, preload and agar load. Okay, so let's see what include methods does. Now open the student's uh, blocks controller and in the blocks controller, you can see that we used includes for loading all the blocks and fetching students for each block. Okay, so what include does that it uh, specify relationships to be included in the result set. Okay, and it allow you to access the student of a block without firing an additional query for each block to get its student okay and this will often result in performance improvement over a simple join okay and now with include whatever we achieved we can do the same thing with preloading of relationships as well so we can do the same thing with preload okay and preload would also execute two queries one for fetching all the blocks and one for fetching students for every block okay so let's save this and see how it works so let's open the browser and here let's make some space at the terminal first okay now you can see that we used preload and we or you can say we are preloading the student association with block block model so save it and refresh the page here you can see that uh, we executed the same query or preload execute the same query one for fetching the blocks and one for fetching the students now if you do the same thing with uh, includes then you will also get the same result let's replace this preload by includes if you save this now you will still get the same result let's reload the page Okay, so at this point, there is no difference between includes and preload, but uh, includes and preload has a difference when you have to use a uh, where clause with the query, okay, or where you when you have to display some data based upon the where clause, okay. So with preload, you cannot execute where clause, but with includes, you can uh, use where clause. So let's see an example here. For example, I just want to display the blocks for the students who has the first name Ravi. Okay, so I just want to display all the blocks where a student name is Ravi. Okay, so now we can do it like let's say references student and where you can write the query like uh, students dot first name make it and let's provide Ravi here okay so now since we are using includes here so this query will work so open the terminal make some space at the uh, terminal and now refresh the browser you can see that it displays two record okay so it uh, works with the where query includes includes work with the where query and now you can see that uh, what is the query it has performed a left outer join and it faced the records into the single table a uh, single query okay but if you use the same query with preload then you will get an a syntax error or you will get a database error uh, let's you replace include by preload okay, save it and now refresh the page okay now you will get the error that uh, no such column is students dot first name why because you cannot use where clause with preload query 
okay yeah by the way if you use this with include let's undo this first if you use this with include then always try to use references always make sure that you have used references as well uh, because if you remove references students now and save it save this query and refresh the page then you will get the same error okay so even include will work with where only when you mentioned references and the uh, model you or the references and the model name will be the uh, model which you trying to access inside the where clause okay so just make sure that now there is another way of uh, using uh, the agar loading which is agar load so now you can do the same thing with agar load as well so let's remove this because we don't need that in that case and here you can do agar load at this agar load will display the data in the single query using a left outer join okay now let's save this and refresh the page when you refresh the page you can see all the students are uh, all blocks uh, with uh, students are displaying on the browser and at the terminal you can see that there is a single query which we are using okay and it uses left outer join for fetching the records okay so that's all from this lecture we saw three different types of agar loading associations uh, methods for agar loading the association you can choose any one based upon your need but include is most frequently used agar loading method and uh, you can use preload as well but just make sure that if you are using preload then don't use where clause with that query okay uh, else this will raise an error and it will not work okay and agar loading agar load method will work for you using left outer join and display the data in the single query so you can use that one as well okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe